What are you doing? Hey. I was just going to fire up the Longevity MultiPro over here. This is their new multi-process machine. So it's got stick, MIG, and TIG all in the same little box. Ooh. Oh, man, it, it's kind of cool, actually. And, uh, I thought I'd just share a couple of little tips that I got, you know, that I've learned from playing with it for the past couple of weeks with you guys. So, yeah, come here, let me show you. So you figure, well, I've got three different machines inside there, so there's going to be a few cables you're going to have to wrestle with. So right now it's set up for TIG, and you see that the TIG cable with the gas line and the control wire is hooked up to the negative terminal. You can see the ground cable is hooked up to the positive terminal. And then the MIG cable is just screwed into its own dedicated port. So now one of the things that I discovered, uh, you know, you have to change the ground when you're using the MIG. So you would unhook the TIG connection and move your ground over to the negative terminal. But with this machine, make sure you plug the TIG back in. I don't know why, but you have to plug the TIG cable back into the positive terminal to get the MIG to function correctly. The other thing I've learned when you're adjusting the TIG amps, make sure you turn the control on the, on the torch all the way up to 10 before you adjust over here, that'll get your display to read correctly. If you have it turned down too much here, the display won't go as high as it should. You can't get the full 200 amps out of it. That, that's just on the tick. The thing I like about this machine, and I never thought I would, I was really hung up about it you know, to begin with, but after playing with it for a little while, yeah, come look at the bench. Let me show you why this machine is so important. So this is the newest sculpture I'm working on. Uh, if you go to the website and look at the runner, that, that, that's what this will become eventually. But because I'm working with such heavy plate, you know, I've got half-inch plate for the base. I've got to put sides on it and then put a top on it. This is the first portion of it that actually goes down through the top of the bottom. Yeah. <laughs> and gets welded to the base of the, you know, the base itself to keep everything square and straight. But I think the reason I, this machine is going to be so handy is because working with this heavy plate, I can switch over to stick. I can do all my structural welds inside to help keep everything square and straight and stiff. And that gives me just one-handed welding so I can use the other hand to keep everything square and, and you know, jigged up and ready to go. And then I can always just make a couple of changes. I can go you know, turn on the gas and I can either get out the MIG to come do my artistic welding, if, if you will, on the outside nice pretty smooth welds or I can just go to the TIG and come back and do it that way all in one box don't have to change machines don't have to move them around just got you know three cables to play with yeah, yeah I'm, I'm getting used to this I'm really liking it anyways let me get back to work I'll see you next time